I'm camping at the park today. I love it, no people. Yeah, that's how you do it, guys. Now here I've got water. It's boiling because I'm going to make pasta and I'm going to add a quarter of a spoon of salt in there. To cook your pasta like the Italians, your pasta have to be al dente, which means it must be a little bit chewy, not soft because this is not porridge, this is not oat. So water has to boil first. See, my water is boiling now and I've got my pasta here. Uh, this one is uh, wheat pasta. So I'm going to put my pasta in there. It's just for one person, so I'm not going to cook too much. That's more than enough. That's my pasta. The thing is, you have to keep mixing it, otherwise it will stick. And remember, earlier I cooked the sauce, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix that sauce with my pasta. And you can use exactly the same sauce, have that sauce with a bread, or you can have that sauce with couscous or with whatever you may have. And the other thing, if you love meat, you can cook your meat and then add the same sauce. So that sauce is just suitable for anything and everything. It's absolutely brilliant. The main ingredients, onion and tomatoes, spices, ginger, garlic, black pepper, chilies, if you love your chili, and that's it. You, you don't need anything else. And of course, you're gonna need salt. What do you guys think of my white t-shirt? I don't like wearing a white t-shirt when it's hot like this. It's good in, in winter. Yeah, I think uh, the lockdown has really helped. I can feel that my clothes have gone slightly smaller. You know, I've gone slightly bigger. <laughs> Fat, I mean. <laughs> I'm gonna lose it all when I start hiking more. To take a shot like this, you need to put this thing on the tripod and then you can take a shot just like that. <laughs> That's how you do it, guys. Tripod style. Ooh. You see guys, I'm using this spoon and I'm not using my spork, like I said earlier, because I don't want to damage the spork. Spork, I love spork, because you got everything. You got your knife, you got your fork, and you've got your spoon. Spoon, fork, knife. Whoever came up with this is a genius. Absolutely brilliant. My pasta, mm, a little bit al dente, which is what I like. Mm. One more minute and it's done. I think my pasta is almost done. Boiling this pasta took almost two minutes. Ah, it's nice because I put that salt in it. Only salt and water. And then my sauce will be going in there very, very soon but we have to drain the water first. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you bring your friends, your ex-friend, your ex-girlfriend, your sisters, your brothers to subscribe to this channel. I'm not on 10,000 subs yet because my friend hasn't contacted me yet to say, yeah, we have done it, mate. We are, we are 10,000 subs. No, I'm not. I, I don't know what I'm on. I don't want to see the subs until I've gotten to 10,000. Then I'll be thrilled. At the moment, let me continue to work blind, guys. That's my pasta there. I only took it off the cooker. You see these handlebars? The handlebars, they are burning a little bit. So I've taken it off the cooker. And then I'm going to be checking if my pasta is al dente. I bought this, a set of three. This one and this one. And this one. It was $25 or something like that. Yeah, I think it was $23 or $25. Now, guys, I'm going to drain all this water here. One thing when you're traveling and camping, you learn to use whatever you have. If I have a sieve, this will be quicker. I'm going to show you a trick. Look, I'm going to drain all the water now. Yeah, all the water has been drained. Let me save my gas by turning the gas cooker off. And then I'm going to mix this pasta, as you can see, this is my pasta here. Add just a little bit of olive oil if you have. If you don't have olive oil, vegetable oil is fine as well. Just to make sure it doesn't stick. The most interesting thing that I'm going to add is apple cider. It gives your pasta a very delicious taste. This is before I put my sauce. So I'm going to put my apple cider in here. If you've got olives, you can add them as well. My apple cider, one tablespoon. Two, three, four, five. 
I put five tablespoons of my apple cider and then I mix it. Mm, oh, that smell of apple cider. Mm, delicious. Now I'm going to add my sauce. Remember the sauce I prepared earlier, guys? This is my sauce. Let me add. If you love tuna, then you can add your tuna. Tuna in oil. Tuna flakes in oil will be nice with this now, right like this. Look at that. I'm going to add some more sauce. And then I'm going to mix it on the on my stove for less than a minute, maybe 30 seconds. So if you want, you can mix it for a minute. See, I still have loads of sauce left, but I'm not going to use that. I don't want my pasta swimming in this sauce. This sauce is ready to eat with anything. Mix it for one minute. 30 seconds to one minute. And then you can eat it. Five minutes meal. Guys, if you make this meal at home and you like it or you don't like it, please let me know so that I can give you some more tips. It will be so good for you guys to tell me how this meal went. Hot camping meal or simple camping meal this is. Wow, the meal is done. I'm hungry, the belly is rumbling and I am going to eat. And my meal is ready. Mm -hmm. mm. The chewiness of the onions, mm, it's beautiful. If I had um, black bell peppers, it would be nicer as well. I'm really asking you guys for feedback here. Once you've tried this meal, if you're a man or a bloke, try this meal for your missus. If you're um, a woman, try this meal for your men, for your boyfriend, for your husband, whatever you may have. Mm. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and share, share, share. I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.